Hello everybody and welcome back to some Nuclear Throne Ultra Mod in the classic style of my channel. Um, Never Named has invaded once again. What's up you <laughs> miserable wastes of semen? Oh god. <laughs> it's me! <laughs> that was aggressive. Anyhow, yeah, um, in case any of you don't know who Never Named is and that was just terribly, terribly terrible in every way. Um, he's a person that I do Gungeon videos with from time to time and recently Inscription videos with um, and he's also a YouTuber but he doesn't make videos anymore because he's lazy. Um, yeah, I'm terrible. <laughs> I should be hung out I, I, and I imagine hung drawn almost, and corded. Almost everyone probably already has heard his voice on one of my videos or another but some of you I realise you only watch Nuclear Throne but he's just going to be joining to chat along. Uh, we kind of have fun when we, we record together so we're going to be jumping in as Rogue and oh, seeing that, what we that can actually, do. Oh that actually makes me think of a weird story. So recently I was speaking to a friend who, a relatively new friend, I've known them for a year or so now and to my surprise uh, recently they said Hey, so I found the password to my old to an old YouTube account that I haven't had in years. Okay. And it turns out that I was subscribed to you on it before oh, really? I ever met you. What? And they had I it's a small world, I guess. But They're just like so it turned, I found this old account that I haven't used in years and I was subscribed to you on it. Before I ever met you, and I'd completely forgotten about it. I gotta say, because, uh, like, I, I swear when we first, like, got talking, you swore you hadn't seen my videos before. I hadn't. I'd seen I'd seen you around. I'd seen, you know, traces of the turtle melon. Much how, like, you would follow the tracks of an animal or its feces <laughs> to find out where it nests. But I hadn't actually watched anything you'd made. But you had I was kind of like, oh, this... No, I wasn't. Wait, no, who was subscribed then? What, what do you mean? No, I was talking about me. Oh! I thought me. you meant- I thought you meant on their old account they were subscribed to me. No! I was very confused. I was- I was, I was speaking in the- I was speaking in the third person. I, I- yeah, I completely understand what you mean now. But that's- can you understand my confusion though? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. I'm genuinely concerned. Did you go to language school? Did you go to I am, speak class? I'm a dullard. Also, the director slugger is amazing. If you don't That's know what the director slugger. weapons do, um, I don't know if you've... So, Nevenint has seen... Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> Nevenint has seen a, a little bit of Ultramod. Um, I'm, a, I'm a purist. That's not a slugger. It's what pellets it? around. Heck. But anyways, um, Nevenim's only seen a little bit of Ultramod from my videos and nothing else really. Killer and even stones. that's kind of limited. Um, so yeah, the director weapons are like these red weapon variants you can get of all the other weapons. And if you if you click fire while their bullets are mid-air, it like gives them a massive boost in projectile speed. Ooh, power craving's fun. Get extra weapon mods. It, they, really, it's really, really useful. Um, but yeah, we um, just... We've got weapon craving that's going to allow us to get random yeah. weapon mods. Somebody who has been my friend for a year now was subscribed to my channel at one point before I ever met them and had completely forgotten in between <laughs> losing that account password and actually meeting me completely by chance. <laughs> that is really weird. But my history with the turtle melon is also uh, interesting because when you first came onto the scene, I, I remember seeing you around, seeing stuff that you had made back when AG and D was around. Yeah. And I remember like, oh, this, I don't know, it doesn't look very good. <laughs> I don't well, know, to be he fair, looks, especially he looks kind of cringe. Especially my he early looks... thumbnails were not very appealing. They were very I basic. don't know. Ah, oh, he's trying to muscle in on my turf. <laughs> I gotta Even kill him. Make law videos. Well, this was back at the point when I think he was still trying to make tips and tricks. Oh, uh, that is true. I was, wasn't I? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. that's, that's that's how I got my fair sort of bump in popularity when people started to know who I was. <laughs> but I still I still just find it funny that the first time I knew anything about you, I was like, oh, I don't know about this one. <laughs> I don't know about this one. Yeah, you know, it like, seems kind of seems kind of stinky. And now I, I talk to you basically every day. <laughs> yeah, I'd um, 
already watched pretty much all of Nevernames' videos before meeting him officially, and the way that I ended up first speaking to Nevernames was kind of weird. That implies that there's an unofficial way to speak to me. <laughs> Strike it from the record, Judge! <laughs> this one doesn't count. But yeah, the, the, the kind of way I first got speaking to Never Excuse me? <laughs> guy just went straight through the fucking wall. It looks like there might be a secret area back there then. Like, can you walk through that wall? No. Wait a minute. Get out of the way, you rats. You may Get need rats. grenades to... Yeah. Oh, oh no, no, he, he died. died. Okay. It must be like a fail save. That's very strange. Right. Um, but yeah, um, was actually because of um, a, a person called Grub, who was part of my Discord and being a fucking nuisance. Um, and they were also part of uh, Nevernames Discord. I believe they probably still are. I'm not actually sure. I haven't checked yeah, their Discord in a long time. It's a lawless land in there. They're like 10% less of a nuisance. Yeah. Um, and Which is a market improvement, but, you know, I wish they'd be a, uh, at least, you know, 15% at Fuck some me. point. Fuck how me. about, you know, how about you just don't get hit by the bullets? I always forget how experience. much harder the reverse flaws are. They're, they're a, a lot harder. <laughs> I always forget to not get hit by the bullets. Um... Uh. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not here to shit talk anyone other than you. No, no, no. So. I'm not. I'm not here to, to to go into what they did. But yeah, essentially, this person was just. I don't know. I wouldn't even say being a nuisance. Ooh, new like low HP thing. That's cool. Um, just they were just causing some shit. So I kind of want never named it. Hey, this person's causing some shit. Um, and we kind of just got talking after that, really, didn't we? Oh my. Yeah, Lord. I. Uh, Can you calm trust down me? Yourself? I've I've chewed them out on many an occasion. Blew myself up. Why? Because this character okay. sucks dick. I hate this character that's, so much. That that's not the character's fault, Turtle. That you don't know how to aim the deadly explosions away from your person. I just wanted to kill the character a bunch of times because I, re I really don't like this character. Like I genuinely, I, I feel like I'm probably in the minority here, but I think the police are one of the most annoying features of this game, and I kind of wish they didn't exist. Um, I really don't like them, um, and a character that centers around the police, I'm just like, nah, not interested. No, thank you. So you're trying to say, fuck the police? I am coming straight from the underground. Speaking of, I'm not gonna say the rest of the lyrics because we're on YouTube. Oh my lord, these flaws are hard. Also, I'm really bad at this game if people don't know that already. Man, this this character sucks. When I walk into enemies, I die. It's, Stop it's sucking really me! Shitty. Let me out! No! Oh, fuck's sake. I didn't want to go down there, you... <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. I just don't like this character because you don't get rad canisters anymore. Fucking open the but mouth, you get, but don't suck me in. But you get massive, massively damaging portal strikes that do a shit ton They're of damage. nowhere near as good as having rads. Nowhere near as good as having rads. Oh, you know, if I was able to get me some uh, rads, I'd be able to get me a... Uh, I'd be able to get me a uh, <laughs> fucking eagle eyes. I'm the chat e and eagle, eyes, eagle eyes is really good in this mod. It's been buffed I'd be hugely. Able, I'd be able to get me a fucking... Fucking stress. I'd be able to... Stress oh, those awesome. rads! Those rads could have gone towards a fucking sharp teeth. Sharp teeth and stress actually got merged into one item in this mod. Into one well, stupid. No, it's not. It's very good. Don't belittle the mod, never named, otherwise I'll kick you off. I'll, well, I'll belittle you. Hand cannon. Ooh, this is new. Ah, uh, this is bullshit. It doesn't even fire hands. <laughs> Where the hell's the rest of the enemies down here? Okay, he's over in this corner. I can see the skull. Oh, fucking oh, look police! At, look at, look at. Oh, look at me, I'm the turtle melon, I can't go right with the police because I shoved a man in a bar. <laughs> uh, people that don't know who you are are going to be very confused. 
Are there are there people who watch your stuff that don't know who I am? That sounded way know. more arrogant. That sounded a lot less arrogant in my head. <laughs> I, I, I'm just I, gonna I feel, say. I, I I'm not a hundred percent sure on this. People in the in the comments can confirm, but I'm fairly sure I have a percentage. Of, oh my god, I'm so dead. Uh, oh no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm fairly sure there's a percentage of my viewers that just watch Nuclear Throne. So if you've not been on any Nuclear Throne video before, there's a chance. Am I not the one who made you start playing yes, Nuclear you Throne? Yes, you are. But that was like a long time ago before I started playing it in Modded. Yeah, so if you like this series, you can thank me. <laughs> you can thank me. Shower praise upon me. That sounded more narcissistic in my head. <laughs> it sounds like See? you just come onto my videos to like make yourself feel good and like just <laughs> brag about yourself. Well, who says I don't? Who says I don't? <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm here because despite how it may sound constantly, I do actually enjoy your company. <laughs> I mean, that's also the reason what I would was, have you Was here. that a police officer in a wheelchair? It, it was, I, thought, I always called them wheelchair dudes. He's, uh, he's on a Segway. What? <laughs> These are like <laughs> highly like, trained SWAT officers, just, not just, mall cops. I just say, do you like the mall cops? <laughs> Where's the fat IDPD officer with a donut? <laughs> you need like a, a black uh, captain. There's another one in the wall. That, that, that's a very new bug. I've never seen this before. Uh, oh, hey, things be wary of the hungry hunting cat, the shepherd eating mutton, and the guardsman that is fat. I thought you said that's a twat. What? Ooh, oh, I thought you were going to say that's a twat rather than that is fat. <laughs> The guardman that's a twat. <laughs> You're d terrible. Azuka. Oh. I've considered maybe trying to draw in the nuclear throne style, but I've noticed a trend. Big vulture. You've noticed a trend. Whenever I am um, start and I'm like, you know, I want to draw art in this game's style. I always wind up modding it soon after. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Ex all explosive bow. Hell yeah. Because, because like, typically it's... Because uh, how, it, how I got into inscription was I did a bunch of inscription-styled art. I can't be trusted with explosives. Anyways, carry on. I started doing a bunch of inscription-themed art, and then, you know, someone was like, Hey, I really like your designs, and I mod the game. So, can I mod your designs into the game? And I'm like, yeah, sure, mate. How about you? And uh, then one thing led to another, and soon I decided, you know what, I want to have a go at modding this game. And now I've made too much. <laughs> I can't go back. Too many mods. Yeah, Nevernamed is, is uh, a very, very talented artist for anyone that doesn't know as well. Oh my god. He has made a, a mod for uh, Enter the Gungeon that's basically bigger than every DLC the official game has. Yeah, it'd be nice if it worked. It does work for the <laughs> most part. I break it quite a lot. I feel like different. I feel like that's every single mod for every game. You know, it works for the most part. Pretty much. You can oh, never really that's rely the on them. That's the majority of games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially now when basically everything's just an early release access, whether it says so or not. Fucking minutes. God damn, I'm playing like trash today. I mean, even even back in the day, you know, games were like full of bugs and glitches. Yeah, like, I mean, like, it's, it's it, just it, a staple of the medium. It, that it is. It it's is one never thing going to be perfect. That's true. It is one thing I always find really interesting, like going back and playing an old game and thinking, damn, this game was never patched. It was released like this and never touched again. And like, some games are less buggy than games now. <laughs> and like, they never got any like, post-release love. Because they just couldn't. Man, can you, can you believe that they didn't patch the original Super Mario Brothers? This is <laughs> ridiculous. Well, I, I, just Actually, like, didn't they didn't they kind of patch Super Mario 64 or at least do another version that removed the the backwards long jump? Oh, uh, I think they did. Yeah, yeah. There was like a, a uh, like a HD version that removed it. Yeah, and it removed some other like glitches too. Fucking! This is why I hate the police. Go away! Why do I have to deal with you just because I'm playing as this so long, character? gay Bowser? Gay Bowser. <laughs> 
Uh, I oh, love yeah. that. I love that so much. It's so funny, isn't it? That meme. <laughs> what do you mean, meme? It's just a game. Yeah. Oh my lord. That, that's, a, that's, that's an actual soundbite from the game. It, of course, he's not meant to say gay Bowser. It's just everyone he is it is gay Bowser. Fucking hell. I need to stop going to the say... floor. I'm getting absolutely savage. By the way, that, that floor that I'm going to is meant to be significantly harder. I, I will say, what's up with the uh, with the boss intros? Oh yeah, like, they're, they're just, just they just added text. Boss intros. Like you, you can disable no. them; they're pretty easy to disable. You don't have to have. Weren't them. there already boss intros in Vanilla Nuclear Throne? No. There were. There were. I remember it distinctly because I remember Big Dog and the Nuclear Throne splashing up on screen when you fight it. You remember? After the big laser. It yeah, comes up I suppose the nuclear true, yeah. throne. They used to the boss intros have always been a thing in the game, and this mod for some reason it doesn't just do that for new bosses, but it seems to remove the intro art for existing bosses, which I think is really weird. And I'd be interested to know why they did that. There is a Discord for this mod where the developer is very active, so you can always go in. Ah, uh, I'm lazy. You ask him. Do my bidding, peasant. I'm gonna die again, aren't I? I I'm playing really bad right now. I don't You're gonna die if you don't do my bizzing. Bid my bizzing. Do my true. do my bizzing. Bizzing. <laughs> yeah, do my bizzing. Oh, I had a I had a weird. Um, you, you just reminded me because of your high energy. Um, I had a really weird uh, thing happen to me yesterday. Ooh, I. I'll go for that. Um, where I was in a work meeting and I'm almost certain someone I was in the meeting with was cooked up. Like they were ridiculously energetic and like, like they, they weren't focusing right and everything. And I thought yeah. you were gonna say masturbating. <laughs> no, they weren't masturbating. That would have been a little much. But like, well, could I you? Was... Are you sure? I mean, you can never be sure on on like teams <laughs> and, and voice chat. You can never really. You can be sure. never be sure, and that's the scary thing. <laughs> oh my but it's Lord. like. Uh... I was, I was gonna say something profound and I completely forgot. <laughs> it's like, oh no, it's like how once everything sort of went remote over the, um, over the course of the pandemic and all those people went live on, like, American national television. Yeah. Just fucking rocking out with their cocks out. <laughs> and they had to do, like, <laughs> God, that was so funny. God, yeah, everyone it's was like, just like, no bottom half anymore. It doesn't exist. You don't have to wear clothes no, down no. there. Like, uh, there was actually multiple news anchors who lost their jobs because in between meetings when they thought the cameras were off, <laughs> they just whipped it out and was like, oh, I could go for a quickie. Fucking hell. I didn't know about it's, that. Got them. It's, it's wild how much these, because we're talking like, like 60 year old people here who don't understand computers very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who think that just because people are like, okay. And they step away. That means that the, like the things turned off. Yeah, that's just <laughs> it's that's just unfortunate. It's so funny. <laughs> I love I love how this has forced people who are completely technologically illiterate to have to learn technology. Yeah, otherwise you're gonna get caught wanking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that um, seems like a like a PSA for, for seniors. You know, on like the on the on the on the shopping network channel. <laughs> it's like, right, guys. Oh God! This is, this is how you unplug your camera, just in case you want a quickie between your meetings. Is it? Is it? <laughs> is it James Corden? The oh, who is it? The, who does the, the chefing? The, James Corden is a big cunt. <laughs> I hate that guy so much. I don't know if you speak if we're speaking about the right. Oh no, the same no. I agree, I just looked him up, but I wasn't thinking of him. Okay. I was thinking of someone else. Yeah, uh, I do not like James Bond at all. Oh no, he doesn't, I don't either. Because uh, th there was this chef and I couldn't remember his name. Oh God. I don't, I don't know who I was thinking of at all. <laughs> um. Regardless, um, over the pandemic, I, I saw my some of my family watching uh, this cooking show with this very popular chef, and 
it's so funny because they have less production value. When they're made to work from home, they have less production value than you do. Oh my god, yeah. I gotta say, and my like, family was like, oh, they're just making do with what they have. And I'm like, no, I know a British cunt who does this <laughs> shit ten times better. And it's like my microphone on, was like, like 120 pounds as well. It's like just And he's no. not, he's oh, not crappy. being, and he's not being broadcasted on national television. All paid. Yet. <laughs> All paid. Yet. <laughs> like, really. Yeah. I'll, I'll soon become a TV presenter. Hey, uh, why is the lab here? Uh, the, there's a bit of a change around with some of the flaws on this mod. Why? I don't know. I like it. It works. I'm just confused by the logic because it feels like a very unnecessary change. I don't know if you, I don't know if you always go to the lab. I, didn't, I, I don't think it's every single time. I can't, honestly, I can't remember. You'll have to watch my videos and find out. I, I just don't remember. Introducing my new uh, Binding of Isaac mod that makes you visit the, um, when you go down up from basement, you enter the mausoleum. <laughs> and it's really cool. To be fair, the lab is a, like, ridiculously easy floor for where it shows up in the game. It, it depends. The I'm... lab has fucked me over plenty of times. Because it's just spam. Yeah, that's, that's true. This. this is a new boss. Was was Technomancer not good enough? Well, Technomancer only appears on loop. This guy appears pre loop. I guess. But what happens with him on loop then? I think Technomancer starts showing up. I don't, I don't actually know. I'll, I'll be honest. I've, I, I think I've only looped like just, once. Just haven't looped. Just bad, get good. Just bad. Oh god. I took so much damage. Mate! What are you doing? It's okay, I'm good, I'm good. I like this boss. This boss is really cool. I mean, I it's a good boss. Shouldn't have brought you here, just judging the mod. You know me, I'm a judgy judge, and it's revenge. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I relentlessly judge Nevenin's mod for the smallest nitpicky little things. So I have to, I have to judge everything that you like <laughs> to uh, to make myself feel better. You see, it just makes sense. Even though I didn't create it and really have. No affiliation no, with the model, but you, the fact that I'm playing. But you like it. <laughs> so I gotta I gotta destroy it. Like I will destroy everything you hold dear. Hmm. Hmm. Not quite sure about that. Right. I need a better weapon. I'm using the basic crossbow still. I mean, hey, crossbow has carried I me mean, through the whole game before. Like, I, I've got it with bolt marrow, so it's nothing to tear my nose apart. But... You've got you've got bolt marrow and scarier face, which yeah, like... is enough for the crossbow to carry you, like, all the way to the palace. You're, you're probably right. Ooh, heavy blood rifle. Picked up the wrong weapon. Let's see. Oh, I've got a care weapon, that's why. Doesn't matter. I'll stick on my crossbow. Fuck. Oh. What'd you do that for? Because the fucking stupid... Shitting aimer didn't do what I wanted it to. I meant to put it over here, and I, t I accidentally put it a little bit too close to me like that because I was in a corner. I couldn't release it without killing myself because you can't cancel it. You could have just put it sideways, like long ways. Yeah, but you think I'm smart, like don't you? Like I'm not. But your first mistake was assuming I knew what my, I was doing. My first mistake was using the portal strike. The portal strike's are dumb. I don't like it. And to be fair, I've, I've got to say, almost every single character in Nuclear Throne, their abilities are just complete ass. They're useless. Crystal like, is amazing. Crystal is like one of the only ones that has a genuinely, and maybe Robot as well, have genuinely good abilities. The rest oh, of them my... are just useless. My brother's a robot main. I don't get it. I, I, the only reason I like Robot, because I think the eating guns ability is nice, but it's just the finding better weapons earlier. Finding better weapons earlier is so good. Uh, steroids is another steroids, character whose steroids is good, but he, he ability is amazing. He doesn't really have an ability though; it's just an inherent part of the character. It's not like an ability. What do you, that what he do you call? Use. What do you call an ability in this game? Well, I, I'd you, say that you, I'd say that's more his of a ability. Passive. His ability, I'd say more of a passive than but an you ability. still. You don't, Does you he don't, fire like, the bullets automatically, or do you need to trigger it? No, you do need to trigger it, but like... So just... you press the ability button, and something happens, and that's his ability. 
I don't really count that as the same. Oh, you're stupid. Probably am. <laughs> but the you're, rest of them like you're bad. You are you're old and wrong. <laughs> it's like fish, rogue, rebel, all those. Their abilities just rogue. Suck. The way I tend to do rogue is just I just save the portal strikes for every boss and just nuke them into oblivion. Yeah, that's fair. Because that's fair. pretty much nothing, uh, or next to nothing, can survive three portal strikes to the face. I tend to just not use them until I get panicked in a corner and then use them all at once and kill myself. Yeah, well, that's just another example of the turtle melon forgets to use his abilities. We got the auto toxic <laughs> boo. Hell yes. I love, like, if you have something that requires you to actively use it, my brain stops. You just don't. Yeah. And it's just, I've noticed that with you. Also, well done launching toxic weapons at frogs. I can see you graduated top of your class. <laughs> it killed it, didn't it? <laughs> yes, but if it hadn't, you'd uh... get more rats. Sure, whatever you say, bud. <laughs> also, toxic in this game. Not that it would have changed anything to do with the frogs, but in the in ultra mod, toxic uh, disperses a lot, lot faster. Like it, it disappears way quicker, which is very nice. I see. It makes uh, it another, way more other characters. Usable. Melting? I melting, would not imagine ability. playing Melting without using yeah. his ability constantly. Melting's ability is pretty good. Uh, plant isn't very good. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll give terrible. you that one. Plant's definitely terrible. Unless you have his throne butt, I think it is. Or is it his throne butt or one of his ultras that lets the snare kill? I think it's kill? his ultra. Right, because his ultras make the snare pretty good. What's his throne butt then? Um, the snares are bigger, I think, radius-wise. I see. Okay, there is some froggies down here. Well done. You win. To be fair, this is a very poison-centric flaw. I should just avoid You are a winner! This is one of my favorite, like, new flaws in this mod. It's very hard, but it's really cool. Umga lumga. Grug. And the next flaw is where things get really hard, though. I love, I love Grug. Grug. Grug, yes. I love Grug, and I especially love his ability to launch bullets from, like, a, a foot away from the barrel of his gun. Who the hell's Grug? Grug, look, look, there's three Grugs. Grug. Is this, is this what these are called? You killed a Grug. I don't know, but that's what I'm calling them. <laughs> Grug. Okay, this yo-yo gun is terrible. It's hurting my soul to use. Go away, you lot. Okay, we made um, it through. What are, the, what are the characters out there? Eyes is, is one who is also useless, yeah. Fish is just a speed boost. Yeah, fish, fish is, is pretty useless too. I very rarely use it. How long has it been since you went to the Oasis, by the way? Uh, like a few episodes ago, like last episode, I'm pretty sure. Really? Yeah. Does this mod change anything with the Oasis? It adds new enemies. It also changes where it, uh, like, where it exits. I see. It exits to the volcano area. The what now? You'll see it when we get to it, if we get to it. Okay. A mini incinerator. Ooh, hello. I'm offended it's not called the Mincinerator. <laughs> How could you? I Sometimes like I feel like I'm the only person know. who understands the obvious value of puns. Puns. Oh. Puns are the best. Yeah. yeah, puns. Oh, we got line grenade. We just won. If I can survive, we got line grenade. What's a, what's a line grenade? It's the most ridiculously overpowered weapon in the entire game. How so? Oh, my computer's uh, being a bit weird. Can you pause for just a second? Yep, one sec. Yes, you can. Okay. Never named has fiddled with his cable. It sounds horrible. Yes, he has. Oh fuck! So, Cube bush is so on what's, me. What's so good about ah, uh, line Cube grenade. bush might kill me. One second. No, it's all right. I got him. Uh, it's just ridiculously overpowered. Like right, I, so, I, I don't know why it's so overpowered. I've let the dev know that it's overpowered, and yeah, it's still overpowered. 
Right, so you're telling me that the ability to create a line of explosions is really no, strong because, and useful. Because, for one... So you're telling me that you just... really like this weapon that creates a line of explosions. So it's just... Right, for one, it's ammo-based, not charge-based, so it doesn't remove your damn, um, rads. And also, the explosion can't hit you unless you fire it directly at a wall. Like, it's too far away from you to actually hit you. Portal Strike can't hit you if you use it, right? You're probably right there, Sunshine, but shush. Line Grenade is my beauty, it's my favourite weapon. It's so ridiculous. So, we're we gonna see what happens on a loop then. Hopefully, if I can manage to not die to some. Oh, it'd be funny if one of if one of your few looping videos just had me in the background being <laughs> a dick. <laughs> okay. The sight, interesting. Interesting. Not not touching that. Well, it's like I've already got good guns, so it's like I've, it's interesting, but I want to keep what I got. Oh shit! Okay, don't matter. Uh, apparently I've got Gamma Guts. You're interesting, but I don't want you. Well, I've heard that one before. <laughs> slug Cannon seems pretty good. Hey, Big Bad Bat. Terrible, doesn't fire slugs. <laughs> Literal slugs, yeah. Dead. <laughs> oh, you gotta love Line Grenade. I'm confused by this mod ah, making everything ah, ah. like kill them <laughs> <laughs> i didn't want to shoot because i'm so close to the walls <laughs> um like vanilla nuclear throne has has big bandit and big dog but they're the only you know quote unquote big things because the other bosses are uh mom technomancer the throne uh throne two the commander. I don't know. I guess so it's big weird still that... works though. I, 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 it works, but I guess I just it's weird that they've decided to call all the new bosses I've seen so far big something like big bush, big vulture, big big bat. I guess yeah, I can see what you mean, but I, I like it though. I think it works. Was that a cube? That was a cube. Minecraft. Not Minecraft cubes. They're not Minecraft blocks as enemies. They're just cubes that bounce around and do their own thing. Minecraft invented cubes. Ah, okay, that's what you mean, man. If they did. Oh, I'm pretty low on ammo, unfortunately. Oh, we got the Ghetto Blaster? Um... Interesting. It's useful if you want to destroy a Ghetto. <laughs> Ooh, I've got a work message. I'm gonna have to check that in a second. Um, hit power craving. Explosive morpher ray. To, to be fair, throne should die pretty quickly here. Remember to use your portal strikes, not on yourself. True, true. Do you, not, do you not need to destroy the generators in... No, in this you don't, no. Well, that's stupid. I like um, it. I don't like the generator thing. It's annoying. Um, more portal ammo, don't care. Stronger blast armor, picking up portal strike, don't care. And at the start of a level, summon a group of IDPD to fight for you. Picking up a portal strike it triggers blast armor. Interesting. Ultra weapons cost less rads. Portal strike costs rads instead. Replace portal strike uh, ammo chest with rad chests. Blast armor produces rads. Rads spawn ultra lightning. Hmm. The last one sounds very powerful. It does. Let's take like, it. Like the ability to spend rads on portal strikes just means if you have a full rad tank, you can just uh, uh, you know fuck you. Fuck you, I guess. The rad spawning lightning seems really strong as well. I really need ammo, though. 
Oh, these guys. I fucking hate these dudes. I fucking hate the disabled. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite what I meant. Um. <laughs> God, that is so powerful. Try, try out really the new portal strike. Yeah, I will. One second. Just one unfortunate bandit. Yeah, it just uses rides. That's really cool. Oh my god. The best part is, this this seems like such a powerful ultra that you're going to want to use it. <laughs> yeah. And that's the sad thing, because you hate the character. <laughs> well, to be but fair... But you like the ultra. To, no, to be fair, horror, um, he has an ability that allows you to take ultras from other characters. So I don't know if it would work with this guy, but that'd be pretty cool. Oh, Doom Launcher! How does one launch Doom? Look, it makes little it makes little dudes that run after enemies and kill them. Wait, what? I don't can't see it. Oh, oh, there's the little man. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, it's the same ammo, but I'm still keeping it. Also, we've got uh, morph on it as a modifier, so it can randomly morph enemies into sheep. Uh huh. Big bandit times two. Dead. The doom weapon is very strong. Dude. Car coming in. A Kraken Disperse Gun. Oh damn, that's a lot of ammo though. Um keep line grenade for now. Line grenade's really good. What we got here? Mini Cinerator again. It's back. The Min Cinerator. Gatling Slugger. I'm being so mean to this. This, is, this does look like a fantastic <laughs> mod. I'm I just gonna, being mean. I, like, it's genuinely... I've played a lot of mods, and I genuinely think this is one of the best mods I've ever played for a game. It's so expansive, and everything feels, like, really fitting with the game. And the... Although the balance in some aspects is skewed, it's pretty well balanced for the most part. Um, I, I really think it's a very well-made mod, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it looks amazing. I'm just being mean because that's just sort of what I, I do here. <laughs> Alright, well, my computer stopped charging. Ah, fuck! <laughs> oh my god, did you just die? Are you okay? Hold an ambulance! <laughs> no, my mic just fell over because I, I meant to move my... I can't get up. Ah! Ow! Oh, fuck! Ow! Oh, 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 uh, also, I'm no, I'm another back. great thing about this mod. I'm just stretching my legs. I'm just no stretching out my legs. <laughs> another absolutely great thing I was thing sitting cross-legged. <laughs> oh my god, my, my Doom guys are just going off. Um, is golden weapons do not need to be carried to the next level to be, to be um, like, found. You just get them once you see them. And you can have a library of golden weapons you can choose from. So you, if you find multiple golden weapons, you can choose which one you want to use. Which I like a lot more. We also ended up in pizza sewers here. I find it funny how much how much agonizing noise I make when I have to <laughs> unfurl my legs. Because I have long legs and they don't like being scrunched. Why is everything I'm getting explosive at the moment? <laughs> do you have... Oh, this is unrelated, but do you have boiling veins? Because... I do not. <laughs> You're fucked. There we go, oh, it's him, it's it's big fish. Big X, am I right? I've somehow been surviving. I don't really know how. Honestly, Doom Rifle is too good. <laughs> Just creating a bunch of homing dudes that kill everything for me. And I don't believe their explosions kill me either. Oh, this is what you meant. This is Volcano. You can get to this on first loop, but I think the way that you get to it has changed, because before you used to arrive here without doing anything, I think now you've got to, like, activate a secret to get here. Because the mod's still, like, in development I and things see. are changing. Because if you, I don't even remember, but on the on the stage with Big Dog, there was a, a Dragon Skull. I think I've got to do something with a Dragon Skull to get here. I'm surprised more people haven't incorporated stuff from, uh, from Gun Guards. 
Yeah! I mean, Gun Gods is like a big inspiration for this game, so... Gun Gods is the... It's where I YV's mean, from, yeah. Yeah, it's made by the same developer. YV is from Gun Gods. Uh, YV's mansion is one of the final areas in Gun Gods. So there's already a floor that's directly from Gun yeah. Gods. Those, um, those p round purple dudes that, with all the teeth, are from yeah. Gun Gods. Like, I know I've I've played Gun Gods pretty- Channel, stop! Actually, stop moving! Look, no, you No! What? What? What did I do? Any, anyone watching back that footage will be able to see what I saw and will know my pain. And what you will do? not know my pain. What happened? Uh, leave a like and comment to tell Turtle that he, uh, is pretty s sussy for missing that one if you saw it. I find this funny, it's like this epic, crazy looking cool thing, like a gauntlet of bosses, all the bosses in the game, get to the end, unavailable. <laughs> what's what's the one on the top left? Why is there a Cheshire cat? Oh, that's there's, there's a flaw that's based on Alice in Wonderland. Huh. Ooh, wait, can I, oh wait, I think I can activate the ones for the bosses I've killed. Gain two maximum HP. Okay, I can only do it once. Oh wait, no, game one life. Oh, I'm getting different things. So now, now what? Maybe now it's not going to be unavailable? Ooh. It's glowing a bit. But it's, it looks charged up. Where yeah. the hell are you? This is meant to be the throne portal, but... There's some new stuff going on down here. By the way, this is new to the most recent update of the mod. I don't know what any of this is. Right, well, it looks like you're going to have to kill Big Crystal. <laughs> I know that's not his name, but we've also got the uh, the challenge. It's the big green button. Take on the challenge for an ultra mod. Hell yes. By the way, this gets impossibly difficult later on, so we might die here. Uh huh. I'm glad that mods for Nuclear Throne add more stuff to do. Yeah, definitely. Me too. Something that I've always been bad at doing it's is. I- there's health in the bottom left, by the way. Um, I have always been bad at inventing new mechanics. Yeah, inventing new mechanics is difficult. I've- I've been- when it comes to modding, I'm good at taking what's already in a game and remixing it. Yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> so, we're gonna die. I told you it gets impossibly health... difficult. There was a health crate. Oh, I got a revive. Yeah, it said plus one life. What the, I don't have a gun. Maybe try going to shelter. Leave the room. Can you leave the room? I didn't realize you could the, leave. <laughs> you literally went into the entrance hallway in I the bottom left. I didn't. I thought I had to finish it. <laughs> Anyways, well, I don't, that was, I don't that know how far you can go into the entrance hallway, but it's at least some cover. That, that was fun. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do agree with you. It's hard to come up with new mechanics. This game does a really yeah, good so job of it. I would not be able to think of something like this. Like, I, I'm good at remixing existing mechanics into it, new things that interact differently. It is nice that with this mod, there's not only a ton of new guns and mutations and stuff, but also lots of different alt paths you can take, which spices things up. And also, in your loops, there's a lot more things to do, too. Very nice. But anyways, we'll leave off the episode there. I hope you guys enjoyed. Never know, will probably end up joining me for the second episode as well. Uh, well, not second episode, but tomorrow's episode for you guys. Um, so yeah. hopefully you enjoy that he's here. Otherwise, fuck me, I guess. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs>